Good morning. How are you doing? Well, not good morning. You could be watching this video in the evening. Good day to you people on the internet. <laughs> I thought I'd create a kind of old school style vlog today. I haven't done it in a little while. I have a loose plan. It's a beautiful day. I just want to get outside. What I've been doing this morning already is I have got dressed. I've achieved that much. I've had a coffee. I've achieved that much. But I've already had a little dig in my attic space for my drone. Um, like I said, I'm creating an old school style video today. I used to use the drone a hell of a lot. Um, the problem is, I don't know where it is. It's been put away in storage. It might not even have charged batteries, but if I am as organized as I think I am, then uh, it should have some charge. I've started to take all these kind of things out of the attic space, and I believe it's in there somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh. Yes, God, that was lucky. Where's the spare batteries there in the front? Mm, we've got three bars on that one. Three bars on that one. So I do have some charge. What are you saying, remote? This is completely dead. Right, I'm going to charge this up before I leave. At least I found it. That's the, po that's the positive thing. I love how I literally just said that I consider myself to be organised. I mean, you can clearly see from the loose cables that I am far from organised. Okay, found one that works, currently charging. It is outrageously hot outside today. Basically, I'm just killing time. <laughs> What's my remote charges? But uh, I've been meaning to show you and do this to a pair of shoes for a while, so why not do it now? Kind of spontaneous little trainer chat quick. Um, I've had these shoes for blooming ages, can't remember when they released. Uh, they are the Waffle Racers by uh, Off White, Virgil Abloh's. Waffle, Virgil Abloh's take on the Nike Waffle Racer. When I saw them, I was like, boom, have to try and get a pair. Um, I believe that these are actually one of the only off-whites that very much up until recently was still in stock. So you could have got these pair. You could have got these shoes. I think they were released in three different colorways. They are a bit funky, but the reason why I bought them was, well, there was a few reasons. One, huge fan of the Waffle Racer silhouette from Nike. Originally, they were released in 1977. Um, little fat file for you here. I've read the book Shoe Dog. I am a huge fan of that book, and if you haven't read it, then I highly recommend it. It's basically following the story of the founding of Nike and the, what, how it got to where it is today. But Bill Bowerman, one of the founders of Nike, uh, was trying to come up with the best way to fit his athletes um, in Oregon with shoes to kind of improve running. And what Bill Bowman did back then when there was no technology to do so, he created the waffle sole using a waffle iron, hence where it got its name. So basically Bill Bowman created the waffle racer using a waffle iron in his kitchen or in his little shed probably. Um, and this is what it is today. But the reason why I picked these up was because obviously Virgil Abloh coming out with loads of different collaborations is absolutely annihilating the fashion industry. What attracted me to this pair in particular out of all of his collaborations, I've never seen a pair of shoes like this. They are wrapped in some kind of like lorry tarpaulin style material which completely covers a shoe which has already been made all the all, all the kind of like suede is underneath and all the standard materials that you see on a shoe he just wrapped it in this kind of like plasticky kind of um yeah i'd call it like tarpaulin material god knows what it is actually called it's also kind of like very cut and sewy like the materials have been crudely cut love that as well look there's literally bits hanging off the tongues kind of like half cut also the lacing system there's a secondary lacing system you can already tie the shoes up from the inside there's no need for this on the outer of the shoe it's like i have to tie up Two pairs of laces just to tie up my shoes. 
that's on both of them. I love it. It's innovative. I haven't seen anything like this on a shoe before. A lot of people are probably out there saying like, yo, that's ugly. You only bought them because they're off-white. Completely the opposite. No one was buying these. You could still, I wonder if you can, so where's my phone? I freaking rate them. Although there is a reason why I got nail clippers out. The only thing that I don't like about these shoes, which I understand why he did it, because originally they're, they're a running shoe, and maybe it kind of helps with traction or whatever. There is huge spikes coming out of the waffles. I am not a fan. I'm not using these for running. I bought them with the intention to cut off all those little nubbins, because I'm not wearing them out with those little nubbins like that. I just wanted to share that with you, my thoughts on these uh, particular pair of collaboration between Virgil Abloh, Off-White and Nike. Um, they're just freaking cool. Let me get it. That is so it's slippery. Struggling. Wait, the camera is sharp. There you go, mate. Don't worry about that. I want to show you my shoes. Oh yeah, what have you? When I rung you earlier, yeah, I was like, it's like, where are you, Sean? Yeah, you know, I've just cut in my sole off my shoe. I yeah. Like, what do you mean? So these. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen had them. them for ages in yeah. the box, just box fresh. Yeah. But what they had on the bottoms were these huge spikes. What have you so made basically, you I've just cut. What do you mean? Have you seen that? It's a band mate. That looks banging. Mate, that's if so If you're a sprinter, thing. then they're cool. I mean, they're originally running shoes, but your boys just wanted to look cool. That's you know? why you were late for the coffee, because you cut your spikes Yeah, up. I was busy cutting that's, my shoes. No, because now you're slower. Yeah. If oh, you had them on, you would have made it on time. I would have made it on time, that's true, that's true. I've already been complaining about it. Now take a bite and tell me what you actually think of it. I love how I'm saying that when I haven't actually got it from here before, but huge fan of band mate. Good? really pickly. Yeah, it's like kimchi. Mm. I feel like I'm eating a veg pack. It is cauliflower and just other pickled vegetables, but I'm a fan. I like it. Okay, so the drone, I've just looked at it. I've charged the remote. Um, the only thing is, of course, I had to do some updates. So the little battery that I have, I've spent quite a lot of it trying to update everything. But I'm still going to bring it out with me, see how we get on. I just may not be able to fly it as all. So I am planning on going on a bike ride. The tyres are a little bit flat. So um, before I go anywhere, there is a bike shop on the way to the beach. Um, so I can kind of see how we get on. If I can ride it to the shop to get it pumped up, then perfect. If not, it's not that far for me to walk. I have an agenda. I want to go along the beach and I want to end up at the marina. There is a place where me and my friends used to go and kind of like graffiti there. It's where everyone used to go doing graffiti. People still do it. Pretty sure it's a legal spot. A legal spot. That sounded like I said illegal. It's not. Um, there's a reason because the same friend that I used to, I think I went a couple of times with him. Uh, he came round the other day, we were chilling in the garden, and I've been thinking about this for a while, but it was funny because he brought it up, and the wall behind me is this big wall in my garden, and he was looking at it, and he was like, Sean, have you ever thought about graffitiing that wall? Like, it's perfect. And I was like, Bobby, it's really funny that you said that, because I've been thinking exactly the same thing. So what I want to do is, I want to go along to the marina where we used to go and paint. Check out some of the graffiti. I guess get some inspiration. Um, I have been sketching in my book. I'll just show you quick. Just sketching out little things like that says Sean obviously. 
the things which I can uh, write on the wall. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the idea. That's why I want to go down there because I want to just take advantage of the nice weather, go on a bike ride, end up there. It's nice to have somewhere in mind to end up when you're going on a bike ride. I wouldn't say I'm great at graffiti. I've done a few things over the years, like I painted some walls, I painted a spray painting of this eye, which was quite successful, I think. But what I haven't done is ever kind of like consistently painted. And I've made the decision that I'm gonna be kind of using this wall in my garden. Um, I have spoken to Poppy about it. <laughs> We've both come to the decision that it's a cool idea. I'm really excited about that idea and it just means that I can kind of like have my creative fix as well, teach myself more about graffiti and the process of how to control the can and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be doing going forward in the garden, practicing graffiti, practicing how to use spray paint and stuff and documenting it for you guys as well. So that's an exciting idea. And I can't wait to have my friend over to help me paint and stuff, because he's really, really good. Got a few friends that are really good at graffiti. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get them around to, to just get creative and have some cool kind of like paint session jams in the garden with me. That was a big kind of shbool. Let's get out, let's go for a ride. I had to stop because I was absolutely missioning it. I haven't been on a bike in so long, I generally didn't realise how long it would actually take me to get down here. I managed to literally walk into a bike repair shop, they pumped up the tyres for free, they had a little look at the chain, and uh, yeah, I was good to go. There's a helicopter in the background, it actually looks like an army helicopter. Just about in the distance. Anyway, so this really kind gentleman in the bike shop just sorted me out basically, and I've made it down to the beach. I just thought I'd stop and show you this little bit. This is like a hidden bit of Brighton that not many people know about, but what it is is like a little cafe, a volleyball area. I actually haven't ever used it before. I definitely want to. And then just past me over here, where those big containers are, it's called the Bright, what is it called? Seafront Lanes? There's like a bar there, you can stop, get drinks, get food. It's so cool, there's even like a mini golf bit over there. Uh, if you're ever down this way, I highly recommend you come down. Brighton Sea Lanes. Right, back on the bike. Beautiful bike. And head that way. So I made it, as you can see in the background. It says Brighton Marina. I think you can read that. And then here is where I used to come when I was younger with my pals. But let's go in and have a little look. Just left my bike down there for a second. I just want to have a little walk around, picking out some of the pieces that catch my eye. This one, of course, has caught my eye. Little SpongeBob Rooney. Some of the lettering in these are amazing. I just love how like free it is. I'm finding it hard to figure out what that uh, letter is. That's definitely an A, right? Looks like a Z, and then that's an E. Maybe an F, like phase, and then E, R, A, and I think that's a lowercase e. So much attention to like detail look. Maybe those little bits have been stenciled on. Got a bit windier now, but hopefully you can hear me. Growing up in Brighton is that I've always been surrounded by graffiti. It's always had such like an arty scene. Everyone's so chilled out here. Something that you know, if you know where to look, there's a lot of uh, places where you can find street art and graffiti and stuff. And this is one of the main spots on the beach by Brighton Marina. I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of like just practice. I am surrounded by baby seagulls. They've got all of them. And then he starts with the letters and then just kind of circles it around. This one's huge, but how straight are these lines? Like, how has he even managed to do that, that straight? Very cool. This one's cool. R-A-N-S, I love that. So simple with like the chrome color. So when I look, I'm like kind of thinking like, do I want to paint Sean? So I'm kind of looking at the S, the A, the N, just picking like the different styles. Some people will probably be like, you can't just copy it, mate. And I was like, well, no, you've got to start from somewhere. You've got to kind of like, 
take little snippets of other people's stuff and use that as like a tool to learn how to write, how to draw, how to spray paint essentially. So um, I might take a few little photos and then do some sketches from it later on. stop and share this with you real quick. I'm in the Brighton Harbour, in the marina, and over there is where my brother works. I just went and said hello to him, uh, but he was super busy. I should have really thought about it, and then I could stop, could have stopped and had lunch with him, but I was late by an hour. I just wanted to show you this quick. This is where all the fishing boats are, and like all their boxes, and they're all lined up along here. And then over there, people actually live on these. I'm going to stop, have some food, because I haven't had any lunch since this morning um, and wait for my friend. My friend Joe works just past this bit. My friend Joe finishes work in about an hour so I'll catch him. Just need to chill and wait a little bit and then I can catch up with him before I head back. But I'm really enjoying using this bike. Now that I've kind of half got it fixed <laughs> I need to tighten the chain a little bit. I need to take it back to the bike guy. Um, after I've got it fixed, I'm going to make more of a habit of this. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm going to try and attempt to get some little slow-mo shots that I can make a little montage of because the flags are kind of blowing in the wind and I think it will look really cool. Sorry about the last time I vlogged. I randomly bumped into a friend that I haven't seen in about seven years. So we caught up there, had a little drink. I ended up at my friend's house. I'm so tired, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to cycling. I've cycled quite far. I cycled to the marina from mine. I then cycled all the way to Hove. I'm now trying to make it back to mine and I just can't do it. I've hit this hill, I've had to get off. I'm out of breath, it's dark, I need some water and I'm whining. <laughs> Hence why I'm going to sign out because this is just embarrassing basically. I'll see you soon, I don't even know if you can see me, I'm just, I just want to go to bed. <laughs>